In this problem, we're told a cliff diver drops from rest to the water below. How many seconds does it take for the diver to go from 0 to 60? That is, go from 0 to miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. For comparison, it takes 3.5 to 4 seconds for a powerful car to go from 0 to 60. Right, so we have this diver, and so we know their initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second, right? Because they're just going to be standing there, they haven't jumped yet. And then they're going to jump, right? And so eventually they're going to reach a speed of 60 miles per hour, right? And so what we're trying to do is find how long this is going to take. Right, so the first thing we want to do is just write out the given. So what information are we told? So we're told their initial velocity, right? They're going to be starting at rest, so 0 meters per second. We're told their final velocity, right? The, the point at which we're trying to find uh, how long it takes, right, for them to reach this, 60 miles per hour. And then we're also given, or not given, but we're assuming the acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? And the reason this is is because uh, this is just going to be the acceleration due to gravity. This is just, uh, they're in free fall, right? So... This is just acceleration due to gravity on Earth, and so it's negative because they're going downwards, right? The force is downwards, or the acceleration is downwards. And so we know V sub 0, we know V, and we know A. And so we have three different kinematic variables, and what we're trying to do is solve for T, right? And so we're going to solve it just by using one of the kinematic equations. And if you look here, we have V sub 0, we have V, we have A, and, we, and we're trying to find T. And so if you look, equations 2 through 4 all contain delta X, and so the equation we're going to use is this one, right? Because... Uh, if you look at the variables we're given, we're given v, we're given v sub 0, and we're given a. So we can solve for t. What you should notice here is this is in meters per second squared, uh, and then uh, the velocity, right, the final velocity is in miles per hour, right? So what we have to do is convert it into meters per second because that's the units that has to be in to solve uh, kinematics. So let's convert 60 miles per hour into uh, meters per second, right? So first let's get rid of uh, the hour, right? So we know one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. And the reason that is is because uh, one hour has 60 minutes, and then uh, right for every minute, there's 60 seconds. So 60 times 60 is just uh, 3,600. So that'll cancel out the hour. So now we have in miles per second, but we want it in meters. So we know one mile is equal to, this is just something you have to know, is uh, 1,609.344 meters. So that'll cancel out the miles, and now we just have meters per second, which is what we want. So you just want to do 60, divide by 3,600, and then multiply by 1,609.344. And when you do that, you'll get about 26.82, and then the units are meters per second, right? Meters per second, which is what we want. So this is going to be the correct uh, velocity and the correct units. So now what we can do is, since we have everything in the correct units, we can just plug in. So V, the final velocity, is 26.82, which is equal to the initial, which is 0. So 0 plus anything is still uh, just this, so we can ignore it. Plus the acceleration, which is minus 9.8, and then you want to multiply by t. So you can divide by minus 9.8. So divided by minus 9.8, you get 26.82, right? And then divide by minus 9.8. And so keep in mind this value is going to be negative, right? So you get negative 2.736, but... This is just going to be positive, and the reason that is is because I didn't specify that the velocity was negative in the beginning, but keep in mind that this value is actually negative. So the reason is is because the velocity is downwards because he's jumping down, which is why the acceleration is negative. So when we plug this in, it was really negative 26.82. I just had the positive value. Sorry about that. But this is minus 26.82 meters per second, right? And since this is negative, and then this is negative, when you divide by a negative, they cancel. So it just becomes positive. So it's just t equals 2.736 uh, seconds, right? So t equals 2.736 seconds. That's going to be how long it takes. Sorry about that mistake, but just keep in mind, uh, since it's going downwards, the velocity is negative, which is why the acceleration is also negative. I should have made them both uh, negative in the beginning, but I didn't do that. But yeah, so t equals 2.736 seconds. That's going to be your answer, or how long it takes, right? So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.